Good afternoon. It is March 16, 2024, and it's a Saturday. Here in Sherbrooke, it is 4 degrees Celsius and cloudy. That is 39 degrees Fahrenheit and cloudy. Um, today, I'm thinking about the song Ambiguity by David Thomas Broughton from his uh, fantastic album, The Complete Guide to Insufficiency, which came out in 2005 and was reissued in 2019. Uh, this whole album was recorded in one take in a church. I'm usually not a fan of uh, using uh, live looping um, during live performance, but uh, it's really well done in this case. This is a really important album to me. Uh, David Thomas Burton is also the biggest influence as far as like how I approach live performance. He uh, He's the one who inspired me to like include chaos into live performance because it makes things really interesting as a performer, and also very entertaining, I believe, um, for the audience. Uh, later today, it's uh, going to go down steadily. Um, supposed to get some snow tonight. Um, this is one degree, but if it's going to snow, it's probably going to dip a little bit below freezing. It's one degree Celsius. That's uh, 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and speaking of Ambiguity by David Thomas Broughton, I was listening to it last night and uh, feeling this like wave of... Nostalgia, but also sadness, because, I don't know, like, I remember having the feeling when I was younger, and, like, I'm thinking specifically about this song, because when I was in my early 20s living in San Diego, California, I, I would listen to this a lot, um, and just being convinced that, like, like, some art is really important, and it's, like, cosmically good, maybe, maybe, maybe that's not the correct way to put it. There's definitely, like, art that I've believed that about before. And it's like, I, it's like I remember when I had a car, a truck. It wasn't my truck. It was my friend's truck. He lent me his truck for a year because he moved to San Francisco and had no use for it. And also, it probably would not have uh, toughed the... Um, the hills in San Francisco, which by the, by the way, the first time that I drove alone for an extended period of time was driving from San Francisco back down to San Diego. It was pretty fucking intense. Um, and I think, yeah, the first time I drove like alone was in San Francisco. I, it was insane. Um, it was a Ford Ranger that I actually lived in for a couple weeks, um, which is also pretty intense. Um, and yeah, for like a, there are two albums where for like a couple months I would listen to just that. Um, I think the, the one that, that I, it was the longest was um, the either wheel is wiser than the driver of the screw and whipping cords will serve you more than ropes will ever do by Fiona Apple. I just listened to just that uh, in the car and it would just be like looping. So I'd, you know, drive a bit and then, a couple songs would play, and then I'd stop and start the car, uh, the truck again, and it would just, you know, pick up. The other one was A Strange Mercy by um, uh, St. Vincent. I remember I was with a friend of mine in his truck, and we were smoking a blunt, and he's like, hey, check this out. And he put on Strange Mercy by uh, St. Vincent, and uh, yeah, then I burned a CD of it and put it in the in the truck that I was driving. Um and I wish that I could feel as, like, singularly convinced of the beauty of art I come across now. Maybe it's not possible anymore. Maybe it is. And I'm just like, I was thinking about this last night while I was streaming. Like, dude, I was watching YouTube while eating Cheez-Its. And I'm like, I am sh shoving garbage into my body through my eyes and through my mouth. And of course I'm not going to feel good if I'm just like inputting garbage, which isn't like, like, like it's not wrong to do. Like it's not necessarily bad. I just, I do it all the time. So I, that's what I want to say. I'm not saying like eating junk food or watching among us entertainment is a bad thing. I think it can be a totally psychologically healthy and not too bad physically. Um, it's done in moderation, but I don't do moderation either. It doesn't work for me. Um, 
So, and to get away from this computer, I feel compelled to go out and buy Magic the Gathering cards because I want dopamine in my brain, but I know it's not going to make me happy, and I just I want to like upgrade this uh, Commander deck. But even then, I don't necessarily want to go and play Commander because like it's definitely I get it, but like playing Commander with strangers is like not ideal. The strangers w with whom I played yesterday were, you know, nice people. Um, one guy was more of a stereotype of what you would expect, um, which wasn't as fun for me. I don't know. It was just very like it doesn't matter. Uh, the other dude was. I thought cooler, though. Uh, but yeah, just playing against, like, random people. It's totally fine for, like, Constructed Magic, the Gathering. So, um, if you don't... Uh, you know, I'm not going to get into it. Um, constructed one, it's quicker. It's more optimized towards competition. And then Commander is, like, much longer, more elaborate, more casual game. But it's just, I don't know. So I don't know if I want to go back there, but I do... It felt good to socialize. It felt good to be around other people. Um, but I definitely find the constructed play more fun, but it's a lot more expensive. Um, and yeah, I want to go and get dopamine, but the dopamine is fleeting. Um, and I probably will go buy some cars, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, I have to get up, my goal for today is to just wake up um, tomorrow, so that's not my goal for today, it's to go to bed early-ish, er, so that I can wake up tomorrow morning and go to work, because I want to go to work, and I want to be a human being when I wake up, um, and apt to work, I'm probably not going to see it today, I don't know where you are, if you will, I may, I may have been able to see it, I had woken up earlier, but I didn't woke up at 1.45 p.m. Um, although I don't see it somewhere near or far, somewhere in the world. The sky is visible, naked, and pale. Yes, those beautiful blue skies and uh, golden sunshine all along the way exist somewhere. Everyone have a great day. Enjoy yourselves. I love you. Bye.